I just have like two by fours for the structure, and I just nailed some nails down in there. And uh, in order to like lift the uh, pipes off the wood, I use some rubber bands to add it to the supports, so it gets a nice resonance when you hit it. Wow. Resonance. Um, I built a glockenspiel, and the frame is made out of PVC pipe, and the actual the notes uh, is made out of a three-quarter inch electrical conduit. Um, to change the to change the pitch, you can uh, make the pipes longer or shorter. Obviously, shorter will have a, a higher pitch, and longer will make it deeper. Um, and then I use rubber bands just to suspend them across. And probably the most difficult part of building it is cutting the pipes because you got to use a pipe cutter. And it's not always like completely accurate, so it gets a little tough. Uh, but I'll play my my scale and the song for you. So. The hard part for building it was the uh, cut, cutting the copper pipes. Use it's like a target after it with the uh, pipe cutter, and uh, I'll play the scale.
Ja. En dan... Uh, zo. Oh, and actually, I'm gonna do two songs. Okay. Oh, oh no! no. All right, so here's here's my skin. Don't do it. All right. Oh, I know this is a All concert. Right. So um, this is a xylophone, as you can see. It's made out of uh, two by fours, and then with each uh, connection, it's got two two-inch wood screws. So it's uh, built for durability. And then up here, I have uh, three wood screws here, and then it's got the rubber band strung across, which the uh, the xylophone bars go on, and they're actually wrenches in descending order.
found a lot of problems actually with this project. I remade my project three times with three different types of materials. Uh, and I found that the copper was actually the loudest and it was also um, the most uh, proficient with the sound. So I'll put my scale. Yeah. Okay, so I have the uh, first song for you. 